Private internet access allows you to stay invisible and safe on the internet. With incredible prices and discounts, it can't be beat. Hey, everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into this. Keep in mind, you can probably do a better job at animating than me, but hey. So first thing you want to do is download the software called the GIMP. Or you can use whatever other image editing software that you like. There's a download link for the GIMP in the description below. Now, you want to open Outside B. You can find it in your Games folder under IMG and Tile Sets. Now you want to make a new image and make the dimensions 576 by 384. Now you want to make a grid. You can do this by making a new layer, drawing a square and going over to the settings like over here. It's got to resize that thing. And setting the position to 0, 0 and setting the size to 48 by 48. Then go to the paint tool and make it black. Copy and paste that square and make sure the two corners align up like so. Next, select the rectangle tool, draw a square around all of it, and then click Auto Shrink. Press Ctrl and C to copy the image. Then go to the Paint tool, and then select the top left image under Pattern. Now, once you click Paint on the screen, you should see the entire screen fill up with a grid. We're going to be using this for aligning things. Now go back to the outside B, and select the trees very, very carefully. Make sure that the square is within all the edges. Afterwards, paste them in your new image and align them properly. When done, your image should look very similar to this. Make sure that you don't go off of the grid. Next, we're going to select the fuzzy select tool and select a bunch of random parts of the tree. Afterwards, you're going to copy and paste it with Control C and then Control V to make an exact copy of the pixels that you selected. And then you're going to select the rotation tool and change the interpolation type to none. And then you're just going to rotate a little bit. There are other ways of doing this, but this is the simple method that I found out. When done, hide the grid layer, and then export it to your characters folder. After that, you should be able to make an event and find the graphic. Make sure that you uncheck the walk animation, then set the move type to custom. Now here's where you can control the animation speed. Here, I chose to set it to 5. What you want to do is select weight and type a number. I, I recommend between 5 and 10. And then you want to change the graphic and proceed normally, as you can see here. Make sure that the top trees are selected as above player, and the bottom trees to same as player. When you're all done, it should look like this. Well, there you go. That's how you make animated trees. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching. Peace out.